Get off the right wheel. Hello, how's everybody doing? This is Ricardo Suber, Senior Vice President in Five Links and Network Marketing Professional. And before I actually begin this video, I want to say that this is brought to you by GetOffTheRatWheel.com, SuccessWithSuber.com, and also 12KeysToSVP.com. And um, on this video, I'm actually going to break down and debunk a lot of myths that come with having your own home-based business. Now, this term home-based business, it can be used interchangeably with direct sales. It can be used interchangeably with MLM, which stands for multi-level marketing. Um, and it can also be used um, interchangeably with network marketing. All right, all this simply means, as I explained in another video, is that we use the power of word of mouth that can replace advertising revenue that companies normally uh, spend to actually get in customers. Instead of, um, or along with, having traditional advertising means such as billboards, magazine ads, and things of the like, a lot of these companies will actually seek the help of a network marketing organization to empower those individuals to share products and services that they're passionate about. And in return, those representatives will earn a commission and not only a one-time commission, but a continuous commission based on the sales of those products. And then as a bonus, um, a lot of these companies will incentivize their representatives to go out and recruit a team, which will in effect um, increase the bottom line. So instead of just earning a percentage on your personal customers, you actually earn a collective um, based on all the customers that are in your entire organization whether you personally got the customer or not. So hopefully that makes some sense. So I'm gonna actually break down and debunk a lot of myths that are out there. Um, prior to launching my own business back in 2011, um, I had a lot of these stereotypes as well. So I'm gonna be speaking to you based on somebody who's had experience um, in terms of thinking um, and believing a lot of the wrong information. So one myth um, that a lot of people have when it comes to MLMs a lot of times people say, hey, if it's MLM, I don't even want it. And they don't even know what MLM stands for. So again, it stands for multi-level marketing. And one of the first myths that a lot of people have is that they're fraudulent. And that is totally false. Now, a network marketing, um, MLM, or direct sales organization, um, they're quite reputable. Um, as a matter of fact, um, most of our businesses, or in many of our businesses, especially the top ones, are listed as a direct selling association company, also known as a DSA company. Um, there is a watchdog um, organization that governs, that governs the practices of what we do, um, and that organization is called the Direct Selling Association. You can get more information um, at dsa.org, uh, but this is an organization that um, is always on Capitol Hill. Um, they um, rally in support of our great profession, and they're great. All right, on top of that, um, the Better Business Bureau, um, BBB.org. Um, a lot of these companies, um, not only do they recognize network marketing organizations, but organizations such as Five Links um, hold the highest rating, an A-plus accredited rating in the Better Business Bureau. Um, we've also been featured across numerous um, news um, agencies um, in terms of a lot of the products that we've had and a lot of the innovation that we foster. Um, so that's one myth debunked. They are legitimate. Now, um, unfortunately, um, maybe about 30 to 40 years ago, there was a gentleman um, who began to utilize a similar concept where you make money just by recruiting people. Um, there was no product or service exchange. There was no value given. It was just basically a membership program. Those are fraudulent, and that is what is called a pyramid scheme. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that if you're truly researching a company and you wanna figure out whether or not it's fraudulent, you have to make sure that there is actually a product or a service exchange that can give the community value. And if so, it tends, it tends to be legitimate, all right? And most of our um, opportunities, most of our businesses do fall in this space. Five Links um, is included in that, all right? We have great products and services. That being said, another myth is that, again, you only earn money by recruiting people. The idea is that every network marketing company, typically there is a incentive 
for recruiting somebody and you do tend to get bonuses, but no money can truly change hands unless a product or service is an exchange, is exchanged. All right, so for instance, in our profession um, and in our business in Five Links, you have to get a certain amount of customers before any money can be generated to the team that brings in that new partner. So for instance, if you get started, you either have to get what we call eight customer points, with one being one of our flagship products, or one of those first customers needs to come from somebody other than yourself, all right? And what this pre prevents is something called front loading. I can get into that in another video, but that being said, um, you can only earn money um, by acquiring a certain amount of products and services, and if done so and if done the right way, then that can generate money for the team that actually does the recruiting. Hopefully that makes sense, all right? Now, a third myth is that you need to know a lot of people to do this profession. A lot of times people see the opportunity video, they'll say, oh, well, it looks great. They'll come to an event, they'll say, it looks great, but I don't know anybody. And here's the reality. You don't need to know a whole lot of people, all right? That's one answer to that myth. The second myth is you probably know much, many more people than you think. And we don't mean knowing everything about them, knowing their blood type, their social security number, we just simply mean, can you make a list of at least 50 to 100 people to start off with? And as a result of making that list, what we'll do is we'll help you in terms of reaching out to a few of those folks. And I promise you, the overwhelming majority of the people on that list may not be interested, it may not be their time, but you don't need everybody. You just need a few. And the idea is that just with a few of the people who get started, they're gonna lead you to more and more people. As a matter of fact, most of the success that we've had in our organization has come from people that I did not know prior to getting started in this business. And that's just a result of staying focused and committed. And if you want more information in terms of how we got to the top, you can go to 12keys2svp.com. All right. Now, the fourth myth is that you need to be a salesperson. Now, I'm not going to lie. It does help if you aren't shy. It does help if you um, aren't afraid of talking to strangers. Okay. But the idea that you need to be a salesperson is totally false. As a matter of fact, the top earner um, to date in our company was a school teacher, all right? The second top um, earner was a party promoter. So the thing is, you don't necessarily need to have sales skills. As a matter of fact, it's probably better to come in with a clean slate where you're just a sponge and you're not gonna try to just reinvent the system. So you don't need to be a salesperson, but you do need to be coachable and you need to be willing to share. We don't just sell, we share products and services. We see a great movie, we share it. We eat at a great restaurant, we share it. Well, if you use a great product that you believe in, you can share that. And the difference in five links is that that's the way that you can get paid, all right? Um, the fifth myth is that you need to have a lot of time on your hands. Totally false, okay? A lot of people have come into this business because they felt overworked. All right, on their profession. So we've had doctors, we've had lawyers, you know, very affluent people who've come in. And one of the main re reasons why they started was because they felt like they had very little time. On top of their profession, maybe their mothers or fathers, or, you know, maybe they're caring for an aging parent, and time is an issue. Well, if you found a way to generate passive income, money that flows to you while you sleep, wouldn't that give you more options in terms of? availing yourself some additional time, all right? And then the last myth is that a lot of times people feel like they don't have the money. And to be honest, it's kind of a joke because what's a couple of hundred dollars? Well, that's a pair of very nice shoes, some Jordans, all right? Or some Louboutins, right? Many times more than that. Um, a couple of hundred dollars could be a cable bill or two. A couple of hundred dollars could be a car payment. A couple of hundred dollars is just a fraction of our house payment. So the idea is that it's not really the money, it's really how bad you wanna do it. Because in reality, this is a home-based franchise, all right? This is something that you can get started with, you can invest in, and if you take it seriously, it pays for itself over and over again. Some of our top earners do five to six figures on a monthly basis. Top earners in our profession have done seven figures every single month, all right? It's quite possible to do that. So. Guys, look, don't believe the hype, don't believe the, the bunk, all right? Definitely get informed, and if you like the information that you heard in this video, get back with the person who shared it with you, or simply go to 
getofftherightwheel.com. Take care, this is Ricardo Super, and I'll see you on the next video.